Hey everybody, I'm back again for another quick video. Uh, this is a follow-up to the previous video I did on anti-micro using Xbox One controller. This time, uh, I just received the uh, thing that I ordered on Amazon. It's uh, one of those uh, one-handed uh, controllers. Um, they, they sell it as like a VR controller. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, it says VR 3D gamepad uh, remote. Um, so um, I was when I got it, it was, it was so tiny, and uh, when I opened it up, uh, it's it's mostly plastic construction. But you know, it's fifteen bucks, so it's actually it was less than fifteen bucks. Uh, I think you can find it for ten bucks even. Um, I just got it from somebody who was offering for a little more. Uh, all it, all it comes with is this box and a set of instructions, and there's a couple of AAA batteries in there, which is nice. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if the lighting is good enough to see it, but you know, there's a D-pad at the top, a bunch of uh, buttons uh, in the you know usual uh, cross configuration. There's a start, stop, kind of, uh, or back and start button, right? Uh, and there's a trigger, which is not analog; it's just a click at the top. And there's like a set mode thing on the side here, but uh, the top mode doesn't work, whatever that was. So bottom, which is I think it's called key mode, that works. Um, here's the um, two AAA batteries that go in there. And uh, let's see, come on, focus. There you go. Uh, this is the on and off button actually. So if you hold it down for five seconds. Let me show you. That's off. And if you want to turn it back on, you hold it down for a couple seconds. Now it's on. So every time you click, it'll light up. So pretty easy to use. Um, and so when I paired it with uh, my Windows 10 device here, Mix 700. Uh, it was fairly easy to pair, um, uh, and it came up in anti-micro uh, as, let's see, you can see that, Fortune Tech Game Controller, let's focus, you see that, Fortune Tech, alright, sounds good, and I was able to map a bunch of stuff on here, let's see if you can see, uh, the trigger here is, um, I set it to control uh, because you know this this is like set for uh, Xbox One and uh, PS4 controller there's so many buttons this thing doubles up several of the buttons so this is coming up as Y and sh left shoulder but um, you know it, it's fine uh, I set it for control uh, actually I set up as Z down as Y see that it's one of those like a um, like PSP sort of uh, analog. I don't know how analog it actually is, but uh, at least for our purpose, it, it's got four directions we can do. So, so up is Z, uh, down I put Y. Um, on the right I put equal, which is plus, so control plus, you know, and left side as minus, pretty easy. And the face buttons here, these four, ba uh, oh, before the face buttons, uh, this left on button uh, you can map also. Like I said, it's tab, okay. And the right button here, like I said, as um, Windows key. And then, oops. Uh, let's see. You got uh, E eraser for the top button, and the brackets for left and right. Now I didn't bother with the bottom button because it was doing some crazy stuff, uh, so I didn't map that. Uh, well, I tried to map it as space, but it's not working. And you know, Clip Studio and Mix Seven Hundred, you got touch for all that stuff, so uh, it doesn't really matter. So, anyways, uh, let's see how it works. So I'm gonna do some strokes here. Okay, first of all, tab, nice, okay, and undo, control, Z, 
good. And redo, control Y. And how about zoom in and out? Control plus, minus. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, what's great about this thing is it's so small uh, that, um, let's see if I can see here. So uh, let's see if you can see the, uh, the cursor right there, hopefully. Oh man, the camera is no bueno. Oh, there it is, okay. So, oops, I just moved it. I just moved the cursor. You can see the cursor there, so I'm going to do brackets. You can see it getting bigger and smaller. And if I hold down Y, that's eraser. And I'm because uh, it's so small, uh, I can do two buttons at once. So I'm, I'm going to push Y, uh, the, the eraser, and bracket at the same time. So I'm making it eraser uh, bigger and smaller. I think the bottom button's like uh, click. See that it's just erased? So that's interesting. Okay. But if you let go, it goes back to the brush. So now it's brush. So it's it's pretty fantastic how uh, this little, you know, less than $15 device uh, with this uh, app here, Anti Micro is giving me exactly what I want uh, uh, from... Uh, it's actually better than the, uh, the, the Express Key Remote that I was uh, trying to replace here. Uh, I'm very, very happy. This is fantastic. Look how small it is. It's, it's about the same size. It's not, as, um, it's not as thin, obviously, but it's still fit in my bag pretty nicely. And um, I am able to do everything I want. Perfect. All right. So let me uh, show you the uh, box again. It's called VR3D Gamepad and Remote. And uh, here is the, um, wait, is that the model number? Wait, where is the UPC here? Let's see if I can find the UPC. UPC, uh, whatever. Okay, wh maybe you can do this QR code instead to find it on Amazon. Okay. Fortune Tech. And again, that's uh, not a UPC, but it's a model number, I guess, or serial number, or whatever. Zoom in, zoom, focus. You can see that. Yeah, very, very happy. Very happy, very cool. Uh, selling this sucker. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try to put the anti micro on all my tablets and use this with it. And probably even the Cintiq, you know, uh, especially since it doesn't have um, touch controls. That would be. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.